Hey guys, today we're going to do a real quick unboxing of Sonic Origins Plus for PS5. As you can see, it's got 16 classic Sonic games and new playable characters. So let's take a look real fast and open it up. See, it has a slip cover on the back. We can see that it's got four iconic titles remastered in widescreen HD and a bunch of other stuff. Now, one thing that I think has been mentioned online before is that it does look like uh, some of these games have to be downloaded, which is a bummer. Um, because it means they're all on disk and means that, you know, if the servers ever go down or anything like that, like, you know, you can't access all the content. And so for, you know, for the, you know, archival purposes of having everything, it sucks because you don't have everything on the disk. So anyway, let's check out rest of it real fast. Looks like we got an art book. So all the US game covers, the European and Japanese, it's kind of cool. Got the Game Gear covers, I think the Game Gear games were mainly what was added to this collection. Got regional reverse cover sheets. And got some classic artwork. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, look, got to redeem the code, so I'm not going to flip that over because I'm sure it's probably got my game codes on it. But yeah, to unlock stuff, it definitely has uh, unlock codes, which, which stinks. So it looks like it's got a reversible game cover. OG Sega Genesis it's pretty pretty cool that's funny barcode and just says Genesis does I'm guessing that is uh, because back uh, I think Sega used to have a motto that what Nintendo won't or Nintendo don't, Genesis does or something like that. So I think that's probably a comment about that. And then you just got your PS5 disc. So uh, looks like that's about it. Again, it's a pretty big bummer if you haven't been paying attention. There was a story recently about uh, uh, how the games aren't getting archived. And so, uh, and that, you know, we're going to lose a lot of games, you know, barring the fact that the emulation community has backed up a lot of these, but there's not a legitimate way, especially when the Wii U and 3DS eShops went down, uh, lost tons of access to tons of games, GBA, uh, Super Nintendo, NES, Genesis, I think, uh, GameCube, regular Wii, I mean, they, the Wii U especially had tons of access to games, so, uh, so for archival purposes, it really sucks that people are now, you know, not sticking games on the disc, 
and uh, or having content that could easily be uh, could easily be on the disc. I mean, I think this right here says uh, 7.5 gigabytes minimum recommended, or not recommended, but required. So, like, I think PS5 Blu-rays start, like, at 50 gigs, I believe. 50 or 100, I don't remember for sure. But anyway, it's, like, literally, like, you press the disc, and it has 7.5 gigabytes, uh... And I don't believe Sonic Origins even came out physically the first time, so I don't think there's any savings there. Um, it's literally just just a bizarre thing of them uh, not giving us content on the disc when they could have easily fit it on there. Anyway, let me know what you think about uh, if you're an OG Sonic fan or uh, or what you think about this whole thing going on with games not coming complete on disc or uh, the state of you know the games archival going on I mean we see that some companies have done better uh, way forward recently announced uh, that they actually had shelved a Shantae HD game and that the, or not HD but a Shantae advanced game and that they're going to be releasing that in 2024 um, on an actual GBA cart and they actually have had it this whole time so some companies actually are archiving this stuff, but as we've seen in the past, some companies have lost assets and different things for stuff. So anyway, let me know what you think about all that kind of stuff, and I will see you in the next video.